Hi there, welcome to our channel Virtual Workshop. In this video, I will tell you about the detailed analysis of compiler. In my previous video, I have already told how to code on Linux and how to compile a C program. So in this video, we will see how a compiler works in the background. You might be thinking that uh, if you are compiling a source code, it is just generate an executable file. But you, you are not able to see what is going in the background, what compiler is actually doing before generating an executable. So let's get started. So first of all, I'll just give you the brief introduction about GNU compiler and how to use it. So GNU compiler is a C compiler that is provided in the Linux platform. So for compiling a C file, the source code should be written in a file with a C extension. The command that we will use for compiling the C source code is gcc, some options that I will tell you later, the file name with .c extension. Now when the source code is compiled, the compiler generates the executable. That executable by default name is a.out and if you not provide hyphen options, if you need more detail upon compiling a source code, you can just uh, watch my previous video. There I have explained how to write a code and how to just compile and give hyphen option to generate a user defined name of executable. So you can go and watch that video. Okay, now we'll come to the compilation process. So how the compilation happens? The compilation happens in the three stages, primarily pre-processing, then the actual compilation, then the linking. Okay, so let's talk about the pre-processing part first. During this phase, preprocessor scans through the source code and processes the preprocessor directives such as has include, has define, has if def, etc. etc. This phase operates on a single .c file that we'll see in the later part of this video. You can use the command gcc with hyphen e option and give the .stx C extension source file that will generate expanded output. Now let's talk about the compilation part. In compilation, we generate when you pass the .c extension file to gcc c option, it will generate a .o file that is object file. It is also executable but with unresolved externals. Okay, so what are unresolved externals? The source code that you're writing contains some of the functions that you've called from other libraries, but their actual definition is not present in your source code. So whatever the compiler will generate, will generate only the half cooked executable. So that output, it will pass on to the linking phase. In the linking phase, the linker will take the library that is your C library and dynamically link it with the .o file and generate an executable. Now let's quickly go to the hands-on that we will do on Ubuntu 14.04 Linux. Okay, so here is our terminal and let's see how the compilation process actually happens. So I have already written one test.c file We'll go inside that file and we'll see we have an has include studio.h and I have written one user comment and simply one int main function with print of hello Linux. It is completely of nine lines of code. If you come out of it and if you do gcc hyphen e preprocessing output option pass your test.c file and just press enter it will dump all the pre-processed output into your shell so as what i said it has dumped into your standard output that is your shell on your screen 
so if you want that output in any of the file you can give hyphen o option and type any file name okay it has generated one file with name pre i will open that file and show you how much lines of code it has generated so basically it has expanded the studio.h file and dumped all the code directly to this file if you go down you can see your lines of code that is int main and printf function and above that there was one user command that also has been removed by the preprocessor so i hope it's clear now let's see the next process that is the compilation process so that is having two option hyphen c if you give it will directly generate a executable that is a object file that is not a complete executable that you cannot run it okay so that is just a machine code generation not the linking so if you give test.c it will generate a test.o file it has already generated so if you can see that it is a binary file it is not a human readable format you cannot read it it is only showing you the gcc version or the actual platform version for which it has been generated this file and your source file your functions main and printf right if you come out if you try to run it also you will not able to run it right okay now if you pass this compilation output to the gcc again now it will call the linker and link the required libraries to this test.o and generate by default a a dot out file if you don't want a dot out you have to give hyphen o option again and provide the name you want for that file so currently it is printing hello linux so i'll just give a hello file name to generate that executable okay so it is come it is already compiled with test.o and hyphen o hello if you give it will just link and generate the hello executable so you can see this hello executable here you can just run it it will print hello linux right one more thing i want to tell you like if we have given hyphen gcc option it has directly generated the machine code if you want to see the assembly code of your source code file you have to give hyphen capital s option which will run, generate a test dot small s extension file you can see it here so if you open that file it will show you the assembly output of your test dot c file so this is the assembly output you can see now let me show you what and all libraries it has linked so there is one command called ldd these are all gnu lib utils you can say binary utils sorry these are all gnu binary utils that i will cover in later videos currently i am just showing this one command of ldd to list down all the libraries that are linked with the hello executable okay so these are the three libraries it has linked so mainly it has linked the libc.so.6 this is a version and this is so is a shared object libc is this library so this is is a dynamic library as so shared objects are the dynamically linked libraries this part also i'll cover in next videos what are the dynamically linked libraries and what are the statically linked libraries right so that's all from my side hope you like this video and if you like this video please share it with your friends colleagues 
and in your group or in your colleges right and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any queries if you have any doubts please write it in the comment section below i will try to reply as soon as possible till then thank you guys happy learning